Hi, this is Ollie, and today we're going to be talking about the Oculus Rift. Most of you would have heard of the Oculus Rift. According to Wikipedia, the Oculus Rift is an upcoming virtual reality head-mounted display. It's being made by Oculus VR. They've raised 16 million, of which 2.4 million was raised by crowdfunding from Kickstarter. The person who invented it made it because there was nothing like it and that it will offer a new type of gaming experience. Oculus Rift Developer Kit was originally only available by Kickstarter. The point of that was to get the Oculus Rift into developers so they can integrate it with their games. The Developer Kit pre-orders started at 26th of September and they were $300. A consumer version of the Oculus Rift has been thought to come out soon and in E3 in June 2013 they showed us a high definition version of this. The first prototype was a 5.6 inch screen, but so many people signed up for it on Kickstarter, they couldn't keep up with this demand as this screen size wasn't that widely available. So they decided to use a seven inch screen. Games and game platforms have to be correctly configured, all made by the developers to work with an Oculus Rift. So this isn't easy to just go and buy a game and say, oh, it'll work with an Oculus Rift. So people have to have good games like maybe GTA, which will work with the Oculus Rift. If all these companies make it, it will be really good. Game companies like Unity, United Software, IT Software, Iris, they're all making, saying they're going to make software which will work with it. This will be really, really cool, but no Rockstar Games or anything like that have actually confirmed that they're going to make any games for it, which could be annoying. But with the open source software, people have modified software to work with it, like Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim, De Esther, Portal 1, Life 2, and many others. Demos of the Oculus Rift have been posted on YouTube, and one which has been posted was my 90 year old grandma using an Oculus Rift. It's got millions and millions and millions of views and became one of the most popular videos on YouTube. Not the most, but one of them. Thanks for watching Hi, this Hi, this is Oli from Apple Advisor. And today we're going to be looking at the 3DR Iris. The Iris is an all-in-one aerial vehicle with a durable Thanks for watching. and compact to design. To it video. runs Pixhawk Autopilot also, System to with wide-angled arms and GoPro Thanks for watching compatibility. The video. And a GoPro Hero 3 for an out of the, the box video experience. It's fully assembled, it's completely and fully compatible with your iPhone or your iPad 